To get started, we want to start a new untitled file. If you're working from our last example, you can go to the File dropdown and select New Design. Inside of our new design, we're going to reset our units to inch. And we want to start by inserting an attached canvas. Whenever you're working on conceptual models and you have reference drawings, whether they're hand drawings or pictures of previous products, you can use those by inserting them onto a plane or planar face. Inside of our model workspace, under the Insert section, we're going to be using Attached Canvas. Now by default it's the icon located at the top, but we can also select it by going to Attached Canvas. The face that we want to select is top, and then we want to select an image by navigating to your Fusion Mastery Lesson 18 dataset folder and selecting the image steering wheel. This is the steering wheel that we're going to be creating. But first, we want to make sure that we orient it properly. I'm going to rotate my view around slightly, zoom in a little bit, and notice that on screen we have various options to do things like mirror the image, we can scale, move, and rotate it by grabbing on some of these handles. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees so that when we view it from the top plane, it's in this orientation. This section right here will be our gauge or our display, and then we have hand grips and areas for buttons. Once we have the orientation correct, we're going to select OK. But notice that we have various options in here. Depending on what products you're designing, you might change the opacity, maybe bring it down to 50%. You can also manually enter a value here. In this case, we'll say 50%. We can select Display Through, and we can also make the attached canvas selectable. Display Through will allow us to display and see the canvas through solid geometry. We also have various options to orient, scale, as well as rotate. For right now, let's select OK. Notice in our browser we now have a Canvases folder. If we expand this, we have the canvas steering wheel. We can turn this on and off, as well as the entire folder. One of the more difficult things to do whenever you're using an attached canvas in Fusion 360 or any other CAD system is to make sure that the scale is right. Now because we're dealing with an image, there's no scale associated with it. The size and the pixels will dictate how big the image is going to be. So if you have a smaller or larger image, it could affect the size of the product you're designing. Fusion 360 has a wonderful tool built in called Calibrate. So let's right click on steering wheel, navigate down to calibrate, and notice that now what we want to do is we want to select two points. I'm going to start roughly at the origin and drag out to the right, staying roughly horizontal, to the farthest point out. Now currently this is 0.34 inches, so it's fairly small based on the image size. What I want this to be is 6 inches. We can change to fit to screen. And now what we've done is we've calibrated the size of our attached canvas to make it roughly 12 inches wide. This calibrate tool allows us to make sure that the images we're basing our products off of are going to be an accurate representation of the size of the parts that we want. 